The Donetsk People's Republic and the Kyiv government forces have agreed for a ceasefire in Donetsk airport, the DPR parliament speaker said on Tuesday. The ceasefire will take an effect 6 p.m. Moscow time, Andrei Purgin said. Militia of the Donetsk People's Republic is planning to begin the pullout of heavy military hardware from a line separating the warning sites of Ukrainian conflict by December 9 to 10, the DPR official said. The National Bank of Ukraine has extended a restriction of cash withdrawal to the equivalent of 15,000 hryvnias or $1,000 per day. This was stated in the NBU Management Board's Decree No. 758 of December 1st. The document will take an effect on December 3, 2014. The regulator also extended restrictions for financial institutions for sales of foreign currency cash or precious metals to one person in one day to an amount not exceeding the equivalent of 3,000 hryvnias. Europe will help us they say. Meanwhile, European Commission will help Bulgaria to get compensation for the cancellation of the South Stream project as it failed to meet EU requirements. Spokesman of the European Commission for Energy Issues Anna Kaisa Itkanen told journalists that there were no legal grounds for compensation to Bulgaria. Workers, teachers and doctors are not the only ones protesting in France. Now bosses have flooded the streets, rallying against stifling employee regulations and increasing employment taxes. The demonstrations held in Paris, Toulouse and Marseille gathered at least 10,000 owners of small and medium-sized businesses, the organizers told French media. Paris police downplayed the protesters, however claiming that there were only 2,200 people marching in the streets of the French capital. The bosses say they are protesting government policies that have suffocated businesses for the last 30 years. They are battling on a whole range of issues, including severe working condition, the minimum part-time working week of 24 hours and heavy taxes which they say are driving their companies into the ground. International coalition will not succeed in the effort to struggle against the Islamic State in Syria if there is no coordination with Damascus, Russian Foreign Minister's official spokesman Alexander Lukashevich said on Tuesday. In any case, there is no hope here of gaining victory over the terrorists without a broad coordination with the Syrian government, Lukashevich said. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.